It's not only Lincoln that's going to be challenging these uh, records that date back to the late 1800s. Grand Island, Hastings, and Omaha, as well as North Platte, will all be challenging records from the same year. If I step off here, you'll see the uh, bigger numbers there are the forecast temperatures for today. The bottom line is a look at the old record that we'd be challenging for this date and what year it came from. So, yeah, Grand Island expected to break that. Hastings, Omaha going to come close. McCook also comes close. And look at Valentine. We should have no problem there breaking the old record of 68 degrees back in 1932. So certainly feeling more like summer across the state today or temperatures that are more fitting for about May, if not June, but we're talking about upper 70s to around 80 degrees through much of this state by this afternoon. But then things are going to change because we'll have a cold front approaching on Tuesday morning and into the afternoon that will likely uh, kind of switch, flip that switch pretty quickly, making us feel like the summer more like to the winter by the time we're waking up on Wednesday. But I just want to point out the temperatures tonight in and around midnight. This will likely be where we uh, top out for the day. Our warmest temperatures come around midnight, topping out in the lower 50s and then we only really get colder from there a little bit colder in the morning but by tomorrow afternoon we're struggling to get back to 50 degrees as that cold front's approaching look at northwest nebraska struggling all day 19 degrees out in chadron by noon 26 in o'neill southeast nebraska faring pretty well but still cooler than what we see today by about 30 degrees and then uh, that cold front sweeps through and then heading into wednesday uh, morning we're talking about widespread temperatures in the teens and uh, single digit wind chills above and below zero to wake up on Wednesday. So you'll likely be feeling it, or at least I start to feel this in my joints sometimes when we get temperature swings like this. Starting to see that sun already come up on our ABC seamless camera at North 48th and Cornhusker Highway, or at least getting a little bit more light in uh, the eastern sky from that. Temperatures are in the 30s, if not the 40s, depending on where you look. 41 in Omaha is one of the more milder spots. Also, Grand Island at 44 degrees, thanks to a little bit of a wind kind of picking up in those locations. Here at home, it's a uh, pretty quiet, but winds will be out of the south and eventually out of the west today and pretty breezy compared to what we saw yesterday. Pretty clear skies out there across southeast Nebraska and pretty much the whole state. A few high clouds trying to work their way into uh, the sand hills in and out, but that's just about it as you look uh, into today. So quiet. In terms of the cloud cover, we'll see sunshine that'll help us efficiently mix some of those warmer temperatures and stronger winds down. But it is this cold front that's going to change things by Tuesday. Tuesday morning already, some light snow ongoing in portions of the sand hills. And as this approaches, we'll see some cloud cover increase and just a light band of snow move through pretty quickly. This is by uh, Tuesday evening, maybe even a little rain and snow kind of mix for some of those temperatures that are a little bit more milder until that cold front pushes through in far southeast Nebraska. But then it's already out of here by about 10 a.m. So we're not talking much, generally less than a half an inch for most. It's really, yeah, going to be winter by Wednesday and uh, even through portions of the day tomorrow. 80 degrees, though, first today. Very warm, approaching those records here for Lincoln, right around 79 degrees. We're casting, yeah, record highs for us today. And really, just that temperature swing over the next couple of days is going to be quite impressive. 50s for a high tomorrow and 30s for a high on Wednesday. But the good news is that's just a short cold snap that lasts for about a day. Already back to the middle 50s on Thursday and then the 60s and 70s by Friday and into this weekend. So it's not going to be uh, all that bad, short-lived, and uh, whatever light snow that we see generally less than half an inch won't survive very long. Man, this temperature... These temperatures, Andrew, just kind of, I know, roller coasters. Sounds like I'm throwing out bingo numbers, whatever you want here this morning. We got it all. No, no kidding. All right. Well, I'm going to enjoy today, and then we'll deal with, you know, Tuesday. Okay. Later. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jessica.